How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Today I'm going to review for you this RGB LED pool light for you. And considering I don't even have a pool, so I'm not too sure why they even sent this to me. But I can still review it for you because it fits in a typical light socket. Now this 35 watt light does have an RF remote which will allow you to change the color wirelessly. So now let me just unbox this for you real quick. It does say it's 35 watt, AC 110, 240. Internally, it works at a 20 to 36 volt DC, which means it's converting this AC to DC internally. Color temperature RGB, which doesn't say much because it's normally supposed to be in Kelvins. Over here it says LED pool lights, Bombo version. Okay, all the same thing made in China. There's a little bit of foam to protect the LEDs. Power on, off. All the different colors, M1, M2, M M3 is just different kinds of color changing modes. If you don't know how to install a pool light, it seems like they want to tell you how via this link over here. Over here is the remote. I guess I can extend the antenna and this is about 10 inches long or so. These are 12 volt batteries, which are a little bit harder to find. I would have preferred triple A's or maybe a single double A battery in the remote instead. But at least it comes with the battery. So let me put that in here. And you put the battery door closed. And guess what? The battery door is a little bit too big. Yeah, this is not, oop. It just seems like you gotta push it in a little bit harder. It's every time I push it, the light turns on. All right, take it out of the bag. There's a protective sleeve across this contact. On the business end of this light bulb, there seems to be quite a bit of RGB LEDs. Not sure if I wanna count them, but one, two, five, 10. It looks to be roughly 200, I think. Now over here, I have a 60 watt equivalent CFL light bulb. I plugged it to this kilowatt thing, and it says it's consuming about nine watts right now. And I'm gonna leave the exposure on the camera pretty much the same so you can compare the brightness of the 60 watt equivalent to the RGB LED when I put it in. So let me take out the CFL over here and I'll put in the RGB LED. This is quite a big light bulb actually. Put it in there. I plug it back in, turn it on, and if I put it on red, it says it's consuming seven watts of power. Now this LED bulb, it's a 35 watt. Now you have to understand, these are RGB LEDs. If you only turn on the red one, you're only turning on roughly one third of it. That's why it's only consuming seven watts. So if I go to green, it's at 9.8 watts here. If I go to blue, it's consuming 10.1 watts. So 10 plus nine, plus seven is roughly 26 watts. So if I go to white, it says it's consuming 25 watts. So the fact that this RGB LED lamp is saying that it's gonna consume 35 watts. It's not quite true because if I put it on white, this is the maximum. It says it's still consuming 25 watts. If you look at the brightness of this thing compared to my 60 watt equivalent CFL, which really consumes nine watts, the CFL is quite a bit brighter than this. However, I don't think you have to worry about how bright these things are when you put it in the pool because most likely at night, it's going to be bright enough anyway. Let me show you the other features of this remote. There's also yellow, which consumes 15.7 watts, which means there's two of the colors that's turned on. There's cyan over here, 16.1 watts. There's also blue, which is 18.5 watts. There is white that I just showed you already, which consumes 25 watts. M1, it just cycles through all the colors pretty quickly. Every time it cycles, it's gonna consume a different amount of power. M2 also cycles through all the colors, except it's a bit slower. And M3 cycles through red, green, blue, red, green, blue at a pretty fast pace. This type of scheme is actually really limited because it's either turning on red, green, blue, or two of the colors, which gives you yellow, uh, cyan, and purple, and white, which is really turning on your red, green, blue all on full blast. Now, if you take a look at this, there's a little bit of blue tint to this color, which means the balancing between the red, green, blue is not quite perfect. That makes it perfectly white. So they're powering the blue a little bit too much to try to recreate the white. So all in all, this is pretty good. I can still use this even though I don't have a pool. I can just stick this into my lamp here and it can be kind of like an ambience thing for a party or whatnot. And I can go, oh wow, let me just turn the whole place, you know, red for a while. One additional thing you might be interested in is if you turn it off, how much standby power it actually consumes. Right here, it shows about 0.7 to 0.8 watts of standby power, even though the light bulb is not putting out any light. There are some circuitry on standby so that it can receive signal from this RF remote so that it can turn itself on. That comes at a cost of about 0.7 to 0.8 watts. If you have this light bulb plugged in all year long and you don't have the circuit breakers turn off to the light or anything, 
adds 11 cents per kilowatt hour. This light bulb is gonna cost you about 75 cents to just have it plugged in really. So this is just something to keep in mind because there is some standby power drawn when you plug this light bulb in. So that's it for the review of this Bongbo 35 watt pool RGB LED lamp. If you're interested in getting one of these for yourself, especially if you have a pool, don't forget to check out my affiliate link down in the video description below where you can check out where you can actually get one of these. Don't forget to give me a like on this video, comment down below, let me know what you think of this product. If you're interested in supporting this channel, of course you can buy the product itself or you can go down in the video description below and get a free audible trial and you can get a free audiobook. Even if you cancel the subscription, you can still keep the audiobook and you can still help benefit this channel. I also have a Patreon link over here and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.